Hello! Today I'm going to be looking through my pieces created for Arty Fartober, which was an alternative prompt list created for Annie Claxton's Discord server. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description if I remember. Um, you'll have to excuse the lighting today because the weather is miserable, it's dark and rainy and I have very limited equipment. I am wrapped up in about 100 layers of clothing though, so I'm nice and warm. <laughs> right, the get cracking. The first prompt on the list was a light in the darkness. So I did this. It's the light of Arendil from Lord of the Rings. Uh, Galadriel gave. Um, don't know if you can see. There's a little bit of metallic on there. That was really fun to do. So we've got this one. And the second prompt was giraffe having a laugh. Um, I had some help from a Skillshare class to do this. It was a lovely class by Jane Davis to help me do the giraffe. And then I added the cupcake because well, he's having a fun time. <laughs> uh, the third prompt was whimsical cat. This was a little bit Terry Runyon inspired. She, I love all her cat paintings and I've done a couple of her classes. Got one of her books. Really enjoyed doing this with watercolour and some Posca and coloured pencils. Um, the fourth prompt was sunflowers. So I did this. Again, it's watercolour. This background was created with just one single tube of Schmincke's Ultra uh, Super Granulating Paint. Um, and you get all these colours come out because the pigments separate and get all these lovely effects in a very easy way. I don't know if you can see the colours properly. Uh, the fifth prompt was Out of This World. So I did this with some fine liners, alcohol markers and watercolour and a white gel pen I think as well. Oh, and a bit of white gouache for the, the stars. Stop the world, I want to get off. It does feel a bit like that some days, doesn't it? Um, oh, this one was alternate universe. Um, I got a bit stuck on this one, but I had a lot of fun painting it. It's all watercolour and gouache for, some, for the stars. The big moon makes me think of Zoe Hart's. Uh, watercolour pieces with it. She paints lovely space themed stuff. Um, the sixth, oh, seventh prompt was Portrait of Annie. That's Annie Claxton. So I did this little collage piece with watercolour and alcohol markers. I um, don't know if you can see because it's got a bit squashed, but Annie's on a couple of paper springs that she bounces off the page a bit. Paint palette, acrylic paint thread, pencil, paintbrush. That was very fun to create. Um, the eighth prompt was churches. So I did this. This is uh, an abbey. Um, and this was done with a fine liner and then coloured with watercolour paint. Hmm. I should stop wibbling the pictures about so much, shouldn't I, so you can have a proper look at them. Uh, the ninth prompt was the dark side, so of course I've done this, uh, dark side of the moon. I think there were a lot of Star Wars themed pieces and a lot of with the moon in. So it was a really interesting day to see what everyone had done. Um, the tenth prompt was bird, with this, these jolly little fellas. This was watercolour and coloured pencil and a bit of Posca and fine liner actually, a bit of a mixed media piece. Uh, the eleventh prompt was under the microscope, so I've got my neon watercolours out for this and uh, did some bacteria and whatever I don't know if all this stuff is, but that was really fun. Um, keep looking at this and thinking it looks like a string of peas though. Maybe I should have painted them a different colour. Uh, 
I struggled a bit with this one. The prompt was Hobbit, and I'm not very good at drawing people. So we've gone there and back again, A Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins. It's got a nice cup of tea, and of course the One Ring. Um, that was day 12. Day 13 was Mushrooms. So I did this. Um, used a bit of masking fluid to mask off these white bits on the mushroom. Um, Besides that, it's watercolour with fine liner and a bit of white gel pen. But this was a really relaxing little piece to paint. Enjoyed doing the background. Uh, day 14 was space, so I took that very literally and did this. So. Sort of brighter stars and lots of different colours. And this is uh, black acrylic ink mixed with watercolour and white gouache. And to day 15, the prompt was goat. <laughs> so I've done a goat, funnily enough. Got a, I don't know if you can see, used some gold ink for the medal, medallion. Um, this is watercolour with fine liner and again the gold ink. Uh, day 16 was Storm and this is the one I'm least happy with. I didn't, I wasn't pleased with how this turned out at all. I used a bit of masking fluid to try and keep the lightning bolt white. Um, but the colours have mixed weird and my white I added to the clouds has faded. It's, um, yeah, not my favourite, but I gave it a go, so that's all you can ask for, isn't it? Uh, day 17 was Imaginary Friend. So I did this, a little bit spooky. Um, it's uh, fine liners, black marker, watercolour, alcohol markers, white gel pen. It's all going on on this one. Um, I was quite pleased with how this turned out. Day 18 was Wolf. Um, again, this was, I got some help with this one. It was a class by Jane Davis on Skillshare. She's a fantastic teacher. I'm looking forward to doing more of her classes. But I was very pleased with how this came out. I thought that it went well, um, especially the eyes, which were a tricky bit of the class. So, that's probably one of my favorites. Day 19 was Neurographic Art. I've never tried that before, so I did some fine liners, I think it was a sharpie actually, uh, watercolour paint and coloured pencils to try and give it a bit of shading and depth. So it was a lot of fun, but I was a bit unsure of what I was doing. That's that one. Uh, day 20 was the girl with the pink hair. Uh, prompt inspired by a member of the Discord server. So I did this little illustration with silver doodles on top of the pink. It's watercolour. The silver pen is a Spectrum Noir oil based paint marker. We got them in a scroller box. And they're my favourite metallic markers. That was really fun to do. I, all this doodling stuff is I find really relaxing. Um, day 21 was Cryptid Capers, so I've done a Abominable Snowman, Yeti, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call them, um, juggling with a little bird audience. That's, I think this one's quite jolly, he's a bit cute. Yeah, that was fun. Um, 22 was Colourful, I've done this kind of Harlequin pattern. Um, this was really relaxing to do. I just I drew the lines with pencil and then just avoided them with my paint. Um, there was no masking fluid or tape or anything used to keep these white lines. Um, yeah, I just I love how vibrant this one is. It's quite simple, but it was fun. It was a lot of a lot of fun and very relaxing to paint. Um, 
prompt 23 was dragon. Um, I struggled a bit to draw the dragon, but I got there in the end. I'm really pleased with the gradient I got on his wings and little head flaps. Uh, I think he's quite cute as well. Um, this was watercolour mainly with some fine liner. Um, and a tiny bit of white Posca just in the eyes and because I messed up on the teeth and painted it red. <laughs> Day 24 was Portrait of Tom, which is ooh, uh, Annie's son, uh, TTK on the Discord. Um, so I did this. He's uh, known to try craft stuff and do very well very quickly. So I've said art is easy and he, he makes fun of Annie in a in an endearing kind of way I think I don't think it's malicious but uh, my mum is a hobbit because she's a bit on the short side from what we've been told <laughs> that's, uh, so that's that one that was watercolour and a chunky fine liner maybe it was the sharpie again it might have been a Posca actually yeah, I think it might be an Aposca pen. Um, day 25 was Under the Sea. I did this layered watercolour painting with some salt uh, and a little turtle. I'm quite pleased with this one. Um, yeah, I love the effect you get from putting salt on got to get the timing right with salt though if you put it too soon it'll just won't do anything and if you put it too late it's there's, there's no paint left for it to react with um, day 26 was dragonfly so I've gone back to the doodles again um, I think I was feeling a bit tired when I did this one so it's quite simple um, you can see all the little doodles and that's the same silver marker with some watercolor Day 27 was Hobbit Home. Um, I've actually done one of the more common brick Hobbit houses. The rather than the more well-known dirt, you know, built into the hills house. But I've kept the round door and I've got a little bit of metallic for the for the handle. Enjoyed painting this one. It's just fine liner and watercolour with a bit of gold ink. I think the gold ink is the Windsor and Newton one it's got a nice shine to it uh, what was next ah day 28 what a hoot this was inspired by something i saw on instagram i can't remember who did it but if you go to my instagram post i've i've linked her there um this was a nice fun piece to do with white poscas uh, black marker and watercolor Day 29 was gnomes, so I've got this cute little fella and a little bit of the gold ink for his belt buckle. Yeah. More of a garden gnome than a Christmas gnome, which I think a lot of people did instead. Um, looks a bit sleepy, doesn't he? Enjoyed doing this one. Uh, day 30 was purple, so we've got some more doodles on a purple background I said I just find these really relaxing to do and I love mixing all the different colours on the page so the watercolours I use are either the Schmincke Horror Dam or the Windsor & Newton Professional and they get really nice results with those um, I think that's, that's that one and the final day was Happy Halloween uh, I've not done the spookiest thing ever, but I think it fits the theme nonetheless. Just a couple of pumpkins and some, some paint splatter. Is it spatter or splatter? I know they have slightly different meanings, but I can't remember what they are. So there's that one. And that is everything. So, it was a really fun month. Um, I went away for a couple of days, so I had to play catch up at the end. Um, I really enjoyed it and really appreciate the work that went into putting the list together. It was 
um, a couple of ladies from the Discord server, um, and myself, though I think they did more work than me, if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, so that's everything. Um, my next video will probably be the scrawler challenge with the... I won't say what's in it in case you don't want spoilers, but yeah, I'll be doing the scrawler challenge next with any, with any luck. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye!